How to lay out a course. As a teacher, you have a lot of control over how your course appears to your students. For example, if your institution allows, you can change the full name of the course, which is written in large here, and the short name of the course, which appears in the navigation bar. You can also change the format, how your resources and activities are displayed. This course has numbered topics, for example, which can be renamed, as we'll see later. Many of the changes you can make can be done by going to the administration block, which here is on the right, and by clicking Edit Settings. This takes you to the setup screen of your course, where you can change, if you need to, its full name and its short name, and again, only if allowed by your institution, the category in which it appears. You can hide it until you're ready and set a course date. You can also add a description of your course for students who aren't yet enrolled. And if you wish, you can upload a file, for example, an image or some information about your course. If we click Course Format, this is where we can choose how we'd like the resources to be displayed. Topics gives us numbered topic sections and we can choose a number of sections. Here we can also select to have weekly format where the sections are named as weeks, social format which is basically just one big message board for discussing or single activity format which would allow you to add just one particular item such as a SCORM package or a quiz. If we choose topics or weekly format, we can then decide whether we want to show all the sections on one page, which is what we will do, which is the norm. But if you think you're going to have a lot of sections, then that would cause some scrolling, then you can choose to show only one section per page. This has an effect on how your students view your course. As we can see here, in this course, types of sport. The first time you access it, you can see each of the sections and then grade out on the right the activities which are in these sections. If you then click the link on the section, for example our second section, tennis, the student will then only see the activities in that particular section and they'll navigate to the other sections by clicking the name in the section on the right or on the left or by going to the Jump To menu and selecting from there. So this might be useful if you think your course will have a lot of sections. Clicking Appearance will allow you then to decide how many news items in your news forum you want to display. The news forum is simply for announcements and it isn't a discussion forum. If you set it to zero, you can then delete the news forum if you don't think it will be useful to you. Other options can be found by clicking on them and expanding them. For example, if you click and expand role renaming, if you don't want to call your students students, but you want a different name, learners for instance, then you can change the name here and that will appear just in your course. You can also tag your course to help new students search for it. If we now click to save, then in the next video, we'll turn on the editing and we can look at the changes we can make to our course. For example, how to rename the sections.